Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. And today I want to talk a little bit about level of detail and why it's important for everybody to understand how to manage uh, large assemblies. So we're going to start with a couple facts, maybe an opinion. Um, commonly, the bathroom at the office is the most quiet room in the whole building. Okay, maybe not. But this is a fact. 10,000 pennies weigh 55 pounds. Now, a single $100 bill weighs one gram. Now, why is that important? Which one is easier to carry around? Which one's easier to manage? Because 10,000 pennies equals 100 bucks. I would rather carry around one $100 bill. Now, another fun fact, all the clocks in Pulp Fiction, they're set to 420. That doesn't matter. But what will matter is if you use level of detail, you will be better looking. Maybe not. But uh, you'll be able to manage your assemblies with unmatched ease. Here, let me show you how as I get carried away with the text on this video. <laughs> so... While we opened up that assembly, this is a 14,975 part assembly that was in real time. Um, the cameraman was able to keep up with me uh, because he was me. Uh, but I, I didn't edit that out at all. You know, normally I'll edit out some, some processor time. Um, but A, it allowed me to have a little bit of fun with uh, some of the fun facts. And B, it allowed me to show kind of the difference between loading up a 14,000 part assembly versus something that you can manage a little bit differently. So let's close this off and let's open up that same assembly that I already have a simplified level of detail to work with. <coughs> so here I'll just open it up to level of detail one. Now this one is going to be significantly different in time to open uh, and also when I go to just create drawings out of, when I go to um, just open it up to be able to use for, for different types of examples. So if I'm opening up and I need to get assembly level of detail information, I don't need to load all 14,000 components in the assembly. So this is the point behind level of detail. This is the point behind shrink wrapping. And as soon as we open up here, you can see that I've actually opened up 33 files. Now it's a different representation of the 14,000 components that were already in it. But nevertheless, it's the same assembly. It's a $100 bill versus 10,000 pennies, right? So it's a much lighter weight version of the assembly. If I zoom in, as I did this particular shrink wrap, I didn't get really super simplified. Um, I just kind of broke it down a little bit to where I could still see some visual representation of differences between parts. I told it to keep faces. And we're going to give you an example of, uh, of that and, and how you set up the different levels of detail as you're going through this. So, you know, you zoom in here, you can see that I've got all the holes still. I've got bolts. I've got pillow blocks. You can get to the point where you can have it delete or um, not delete, remove those components in there so they're not included as a part of that level of detail. So if you want to get really, really ultra simplified, we can do that. So let's dive down into one of these components. And as you can see, it's basically like peeling back uh, an onion. You know, if you want to get to the next level deep, you know, you're, you're going to load more components as you need it. So it's kind of an on-demand load uh, when you're using these level of details. Now, there's many different ways to explain it and such, but this is my show, and I'll, I'll explain it how I want to. So here, as you can see, I've loaded up the, uh, the master level detail, which basically says load everything. Um, and this one uh, is about 727 parts. So I'll just zoom in here real quick and, and let's take a look at some of the you know the number of bolts and you can see there's pill block in there and, and, and lots of holes and such. Well, let's do a new shrink wrap substitute here. So what that's going to do is uh, the assembly shrink wrap options are going to come up and let me zoom back in here. And I have a couple different options to keep it as a single body or keep the faces in between. And here, I'm going to remove parts by a percentage of overall volume. So I'll check that. I'll hit 10%. I'm also, and you'll notice that I have hole patching uh, selected here, um, which is going to take any, any closed profiles and go ahead and close those up uh, and, and kind of fill the void, if you will, with solid material. But uh, what that does for manufacturers then is it, is it removes some of the intellectual property. So for example, if I'm getting ready to prepare this to exchange with somebody else, or if I'm getting ready to send this 700, almost a thousand part assembly into yet another sub-assembly that also has 7,000 parts and such, I want, I want to be able to just kind of load on demand, if you will, with, the, with this level of detail. 
So once you've got that new level of detail created, um, in order to uh, activate it, you just go into the representation and tell it which of those representations you want to be displayed in this assembly. So I've loaded the, uh, uh, the, the shrink wrap substitute, and as you can see, I've simplified even further than what I had before. Load it up into the, into the final assembly here, and I've lightened it up, uh, you know, significantly to where now I'm starting to increase my performance when it comes to uh, graphical performance in a huge, huge assembly like this. So that's it for, uh, for this particular episode of Rob Unscripted. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to uh, follow me on Twitter, and don't forget to check out our manufacturing community at manufacturingcommunity.autodesk.com. Have a great day, everybody.